After your bachelor's or master's, your CV and your friend's CV all look the same, right? Then why should you get the job and why not your friend, right? Now that question probably we all should ask each other, right? Now the answer to this is you need to know some smart hacks. Now these smart hacks will help you stand out in front of the recruiters. Now the first among them is to use a strong summary. Biotech postgrad with specialization in CRISPR with hands-on NGS experience and data analysis, something like that. And then tailor every resume. As per the job description, highlight the keywords. That's very important. And the third tip will be highlight the translational impact. For example, instead of saying worked on protein purification, say that optimized protein purification improving yield by 35%, enabled downstream vaccine development. Now these kind of statements you have to use, action statements. Then you can showcase your soft skill. Don't just write team player. Instead write led a team of five uh, people in cell line development project presented findings in institutional symposium, something like that. Then uh, probably you can add some tools and technologies like sometimes the recruiters, they, the moment they see your CV, they will do a control F and look for that particular keyword, right? So if you have done the tools like PCR, HPLC, Python, MATLAB, PyMol, whatever. So you have to include that in your CV because they will do a control F and they will search in your CV if those skill set is there or not. Followed by that, you should also do some mini projects, certifications, mega projects, or maybe internship, which you can always do with Biotechnica. And now you have to be proactive about it because these internships won't come every day. Once in a month, you will get an opportunity, you have to apply, and you have to build a portfolio. You have to showcase your portfolio, maybe whatever, and it should be online so that you can share the link in your CV. People click and go and check it out. Apart from the LinkedIn profile, you should have your own portfolio as well. Now, Apart from this, also make sure that your email ID is clean. It should not be something rockstar underscore sanjeev at gmail.com. That will not work, okay? Instead, um, you know, you should have a clean CV, avoid clutter, use professional phone numbers and email IDs, and use bullet points, uh, consistent font. Make sure you use tools like ChatGPT, Novo Resume, or Canva, you know, design it better. And also make sure that you highlight your core competency somewhere in your CV. Now, if you've done all of this, this is going to be a game changer for you. So tag your friend who might not be doing this. Let us know in the comment section what more you are doing to get the jobs faster so that everyone can learn. All the best.